Stability AI just released Stable Cascade, and it is the future of text-to-image AI models that you can run locally on your own computer right now. And today, I'm gonna show you how. Hello humans, when we scale your AI overload and oh my god, we finally got a new model from Stability AI. And although it's not technically the next Stable Diffusion model, this might actually be better than the other models and the future of open source text-to-image AI models. And I will explain why. Now, as of right now, it's still technically a research preview model, but if you want to try it out and use it on your own computer right now, you can. And to install it, you have two ways. The first is of course by using the one-click installer that is available for my Patreon supporters. Also, if you have any issues, I provide priority tech support so that you always know what to do. So basically, just download the installer and the launcher onto your computer, and then double-click on the stable cascade auto install.bat file. It will install everything automatically, and after a few minutes, it will be ready to use. Oh, and also, do not forget to put the launcher file inside the stable cascade folder so that the next time that you want to launch stable cascade you just need to double click on the launcher cascade.bat file and the web ui will launch automatically simple as that oh and if you want you can also edit the launcher file and use among the list of three possible arguments between dash dash in browser dash dash server port and dash dash share in browser basically automatically opens the web UI in your browser. The server port argument basically allows you to choose a specific server port to run. And the share argument basically creates a public URL so that you can use the web UI on your phone or on your mobile device. And the second way to install this is of course the manual way. So first make sure that you have Python and Git for Windows installed. Then you're gonna click the link in the description down below and you're gonna arrive on a Hugging Face repository. So here you're gonna click on this little icon, click clone repository, then click copy, then you're gonna create a new folder onto your computer and name it anything you want. Then you're gonna click on the folder path, type CMD, press enter, and in the command prompt window, you're gonna press control V to paste the two lines of code and then press enter, which will create a new folder on our computer called stable cascade. So now we're gonna go inside that folder. So you're gonna type CD stable cascade, then press enter. Then once we are inside the folder, we're gonna create a new Python virtual environment. So you're gonna type Python dash M V N V E N V, then press enter. Then we're gonna activate the environment. So you're gonna type Envy slash script slash activate, then press enter. So then next, you're gonna type pip install gradio, then press enter. Then once everything is installed, you're gonna copy and paste this command line that you'll find in the description down below that starts with pip install torch torch vision, then press enter. Then once everything is installed, you're gonna type pip install r requirements.txt, then press enter. And then finally, once everything is done, you're gonna type python app.py and then press enter. And in the end, you should have a local URL. And if you hold control, then left click, it will automatically open the web UI. Okay, so now we can finally have some fun. But what exactly make this model so exceptional? Because I mean, when you look at the results that you get here, I mean, it's not bad, I guess, but it's not that great, especially compared to a lot of different stable diffusion models present on Civit AI. So what gives? Well, for those of you who know a little bit about text to image AI generation, let me ask you a little question. What do you think is currently the best text to image AI model? Is it a particular stable diffusion model that you can download and find on Civit AI? Is it Midjourney that creates these super amazing realistic images that are really like super stylized and beautiful to look at? Well, if you answered one or the other, well, um, you'd be wrong. Because actually the best current text-to-image AI model is actually DALI 3. That's right. And you might be thinking, um, are you sure about that? Because I mean, when you look at the image generated right here, um, they don't really look better than the ones made in stable diffusion or mid-journey. Well, the reason why DALI 3 is so good and it is the best model currently available is because it is the best AI model to follow your prompt to a T. And it is super ultra powerful. For example, if I ask something like a cinematic photo of a woman with long blonde hair and green eyes holding a mirror drinking a coffee inside a tavern. So now if I click create, it pretty much gives me exactly what I asked for. A cinematic photo of a woman with long blonde hair and green eyes eyes, holding a mirror, and drinking a coffee inside a tavern. So the main reason why a text-to-image AI model might be better than another one might simply be just how good it is at following your prompt. Because once you get that, you can create anything. And this was always an issue with previous stable diffusion models. However, now with Stable Cascade, we are slowly starting to approach that closed-off DALI 3 model. Because this is what Stable Cascade does better compared to the previous stable diffusion models. Stable Cascade is actually able to follow the prompt way more closely to what any other stable diffusion models ever could. 
So, like for example, Stable Cascade is able to generate very precisely real text inside the image. So, like for example, if I put here a new prompt, a really funny prompt that I found on Reddit that says cats organizing a protest, holding placards outside Twitter's offices, saying give us the bird. So now, if I click run, we get something like this, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, look at the quality of the text, the precision of the generation, and just kind of how aesthetically pleasing this whole image is. Because because once again, if you try to do the same thing with Stable Diffusion Excel, you definitely don't get the same quality of the generation. I mean, the difference between them is like night and day. And it's actually really, really impressive on how good Stable Cascade is at following your prompt. Now, obviously, not everything is going to be perfect. It's not going to generate the perfect image 100% of the time. After all, it's still like a preview model in a way. It's still in research, but you can still generate some pretty cool stuff. Something like this, for example. And although, as you can see here, it's not like exactly perfect, there's still like a few words missing, but once again, as I said, it's still like a preview model, and for a preview model, this is really super, super impressive. But once again, this is not the end. Text is not the only thing that Stable Cascade can do better than the previous Stable Diffusion models. It can also do better hands, that's right. So like for example, if I put cinematic photo of a woman showing her hands to the camera, we get something like this, which, I mean, wow, it's pretty impressive. We got yeah, five fingers on each hand, they look pretty decent, not 100% perfect, but still really, really good. Especially when once again you compare it to the previous Stable Diffusion Excel model. So, yeah. And once again, I'm gonna say it again and again, but it's still like a research model. It's still a model in preview, and once future models are released, it will be even better. Also, another thing that I like to generate is basically like fake screenshots from a fake movie. So like, for example, if I put something like screenshot from a 70s movie, The Little Red Riding Hood, a portrait of the young Little Red Riding Hood in a forest, which I'm pretty sure that this movie does not exist, because I mean, I just made it up. But now if I go to like the advanced options and I increase the width to have like a 16 by 9 ratio image and I click run, I get something like this, which is, I mean, just fantastic. I mean, look at the quality of the generation here. It really looks like a screenshot from an older movie. I mean, this is fantastic. I mean, this looks really, really good because compared to the previous Stable Diffusion Excel model, it definitely doesn't look as good. Especially because here, once again, I ask for a portrait of the young girl and this is definitely not a portrait. This is almost like a full body shot. So like once again, Stable Cascade is much better at following the prompt compared to the previous Stable Diffusion models. Also, another thing that Stable Cascade can do much better compared to the previous Stable Diffusion Excel model is actually anime images. So like for example, if I put something like screenshot from the Princess Mononoke movie, a portrait of a young woman with blonde hair and blue eyes. So now if I click run, I get something like this, which looks absolutely beautiful. It almost kind of looks like Link from The Legend of of Zelda, but when it comes to the quality of the generation, this looks really, really good. And you can do it with a bunch of different movies and different characters. And once again, the comparison with the previous Stable Diffusion Excel model. Woof, this one is rough. So yeah, I mean, there is absolutely no discussion on how good the Stable Cascade model is. And once again, I'm gonna repeat myself, but this is once again just the preview model. This is really just the base model without any training. So once the community has their hands on the model and start training the model, we are bound to see some really cool stuff. Better than anything we've ever seen before. And this is the future of open source text to image AI models. Because the only way forward is to have an AI model that precisely follow your prompt to generate the desired image. Because once we have that, it's only a matter of fine tuning and training to be able to generate anything you want. With absolutely perfect precision. And I'm sure that we will get there eventually, and I truly believe that Stable Cascade is the first step toward that goal. And if you don't have a good GPU or a computer, you can also try out the Stable Cascade demo on either this Google Colab doc that I will put the link in the description down below, or the official Stable Cascade demo on HuggingFace.co. All the links will be in the description down below. Oh, and also if you have any issues, I provide priority support on Patreon, so if you have any questions whatsoever, just send me a DM, and I will try to answer you as quickly as possible. So yeah, there you go, Stable Cascade is here, it's definitely gonna be the future of open source text-to-image AI models. So definitely try this out yourself and have some fun. And there we have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. You people are literally the reason why I'm able to make these videos, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.